In this video, I will show you how to make your custom DIY animated Discord skin. But before doing that, let's give a quick shout out to my recent subscriber who wanted to be in this video. So here you have it and let's start with the customizing our Discord. And to do that, you will need to have better Discord installed. So if we go straight to their website, you will see here the download button. I will click the download right now version 1.2.1. Click on the Exa installer. Click here to accept the license agreement. Click next. Click here to install better Discord. Click next. And I will choose that I have this Discord installed. So I will choose the first one and click install. So my Discord will restart itself. And right now I will show you how to check if better Discord is actually installed on Discord client. So right now, if I open up the Discord, go to your Discord settings and to see that if the better discord is installed you will see the better discord setting setting section right here right now i will show you how to customize your custom theme for your better discord client you will go to the themes section right here and you have here a lot of themes to actually download but none of them are actually customizable right here on this page. So to do that, you will go to the limeshark.de webpage and you will see that this is the online Discord theme editor. So to get started, you will first click right here to get started and you will choose whichever theme you would like. So not all of the themes are supported by animated GIFs as background, so choose whichever you would like. But for this tutorial, I will just pick this one called Neutron. So here we have a lot of settings as images, font, colors, and add-ins. And right now I will go through some of these settings and then we will download our preset that we just created. So right now we have the home button image. So this is the image that you can change. For example, this is the image for the current theme right here. You have the left on the top with an 8 you can pick whichever you would like for example from your computer or even from a link here you also have home button image size so we have cover all the space display all image or stretch image to fill the space for this example i think it looks the best to cover all the space so here we have the background image so you can choose it from your computer or even from a link and the current one if i copy this one the current one is this one and it looks like that but is also blurred right here in background of the Discord. For the animated wallpaper, you will need to choose the GIF version of an image. So for example, I picked some of the GIFs right here. So I will just pick this one right here, I think is the best. So here the some Cyberpunk CD and here we have some another CD with the train and of course the Super Mario right here. So if I go back to the our theme editor, uh, Lime Shark, I will paste the GIF that I just copied into this uh, col column right here and press enter and right now it should put my image as background so right now you will, won't see it but if i go to the background image blur it's currently set on 100 if i put it for example on let's say 10 percent it, it will look like that so i think th at the 10 percent it looks the best but if you want to you can let's say put it at the zero uh, maybe even at the 70% or whatever you would like. So in my opinion, I think at the 10% it looks the best. So if we go to the background image position setting right here, you can select it to the center, left, right, top or the bottom. And I think the center one is the best in my opinion. Background size image, you can select to cover all the space, display, display all the image or stretch image to fill the space. But I think the cover all the space so it will be even stretched out of the Discord client. We also have the background Im image repeat, so repeat. We have the repeat image horizontally or even uh, vertically. So I don't think that, that we need that. So I will click right here to no repeat because this is the GIF and it repeats itself. Uh, as I said before, here is the setting of the background image, bl image blur, but we already went through this setting. So I will not talk about it right now. We also have background image opacity. So right now, if you want to, uh, you can set it a bit darker or even a bit lighter or brighter in my opinion. So right now, if we go, I will put it, let's say, a bit darker, I will say 0 0.4. 0 0.4 I think looks the best. So we went through all these settings right here on the images. Right now we will move on to the font settings of this theme. 
So right here you have the Google Fonts which is selected of oh, this theme is currently open sans but you can also even choose one font from your computer for example if I type in fonts you have here your fonts folder right there uh, on this uh, on your windows and you can choose whichever font you would like into this theme but for this theme I will choose here to go to the fonts.google.com and here I will choose which font I like. For example, Montserrat, I think it looks quite nice. So here we have the Montserrat theme. I will just uh, copy this uh, Montserrat header right here and put it to the, instead of the open sense right here. So paste it right here and press enter. Right now, the font should change. So I think it looks quite nice. So if we go to the next uh, tab of the colors, so we have the accent color right here. We can choose whichever you would like. So here we have the the let's say the darken or brighten the image and here we have the translucency of the the our color so for example if i set it to the zero right here it shouldn't be visible or it should be translucent but i pick if i choose at the top it should be uh, brighter so right now you will choose right here on the top right this is the our accent color so for example if i pick let's say purple one purple one i think looks quite nice right here with this uh, wallpaper that we choose earlier and we also have the accent color too uh, and this is the color that also changes right here on the right but for example i think the they are a bit darker let's say this one i think this one looks nice and also we have the background color which is currently set to the dark but for example you can select your theme of the or the background of your uh, current discord client to be white but or even whichever color you would like but i really like it at the dark maybe even let's say at the dark and you can select the transparency as well so i will put it at the dark as was set as before here we also have some add-ons horizontal server list radial status and server columns so horizontal server list is the this add-on right here at the top so it will move your server list at the left to the top for example server I server icon size for example you can pick or whichever size of the icons you would like for example i will type in right here 20 i think it looks quite nice with that but i will select server spacing for example at the 10 so i think it looks very very nice in my opinion right now we also have the radial status so th this extension will actually do uh, will allow you to see if you are online for example right here you will see that uh, you have this bright uh, green uh, circle around your profile uh, picture and you can also choose uh, a lot of settings from here uh, i won't go through all of them right now so you have also the old scholars you can uh, play by yourself with these settings i will not go through them uh, right now so server columns is the uh, replacement for the horizontal server list so if i disable this one and i will enable server columns you will see that the our server list is uh, right now in the grid or in the columns section right here so you can choose amount of the columns for example i will select uh, i will select let's say four you have the four columns right here let's even select the server's icon size currently is set on the 50 i will select on the 30 for example uh, we also have the bottom gap between servers so i currently is set on three let's say select on the six and it looks like that right now so align dms with the columns you can select yes or no so you can even choose whichever you would like for example i will put no right here so this is covering the add-ons right here so we just customized our theme so all these themes are free to download on their website and you can customize it by yourself or your personal preference i will just show this on this current theme called neutron right now so when you're done or let's say change all your settings you will click right here to the download right here on the top uh, left right here uh, bright download button click save the file so when the file is downloaded right here you will see that is ending with the file name called uh, theme or I think is called CSS. So we will copy this theme. So I will select the copy right here, go to your Discord, go to your better Discord settings, go to the themes and you will select here open theme folder. So when the theme folder is opened, you will just paste it right here, your theme that you 
just created right here is the neutron team that i just created i will minimize this for now so neutron team i will just enable it right now so as you can see you have the message neutron has been enabled and you will see that this team is currently uh, applied on your discord client i hope you successfully changed your team on your discord client and i hope really that i deserve your subscription so if we go right now to the uninstallation of this team right now we will go back to the uh, at the bottom go to the teams right here uh, we have the neutron te team enabled click to disable and discord should go back to the uh, their uh, default uh, look so i will click right here close the discord right now go to the better discord team installer and open it i know it's weird uh, we should go to also to the windows uh, programs and preferences and uninstall from there but i will select from their uh, installer so i will once again accept the license agreement click next we have uninstall better discord i will click next and I will select my Discord that is currently uh, installed. So, so here you will click uninstall and better Discord should be uninstalled. So here we have the default theme from Discord. So once again, we can check if we have a better Discord installed. And as you can see, we don't have any more better Discord settings right here. So I think that we successfully uninstalled better Discord from our Discord client. So. I think this has been it for this video, maybe consider subscribing to this channel, like this video and also comment down below which team did you actually try. And with that being said, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.